My name is Gohar Jan, exclaimed a bold and confident voice into the gramophone. Eileen Angelina Yeoward was born on the 26th of June, 1873. Her father, Robert William Yeoward, was an Armenian. Her mother, Adeline Victoria Hemmings, was an Indian by birth and had been trained in music and dance. In 1879, when Angelina's parents' marriage ended, she moved to Banaras with her mother. It is then that Victoria converted to Islam and changed Angelina's name to Gohar Jan and hers to Malka Jan. Malka Jan moved to Calcutta in 1883 and established herself in the court of Nawab Bajid Ali Shah. It is here that young Gohar started her training. She learned Hindustani vocal music, Drupad, Dhamar, Khatak, Rabindra Sangeet and started composing ghazals under the pen name Hamdam. Gohar Jan gave her maiden performance at the Royal Courts of Darbangaraj in 1887 and was appointed a court musician. She popularized light Hindustani classical music with her tumris, dadra, khajri, chaitis, bhajan and tarana renditions. A huge milestone in the history of recording occurred in 1902 when Fred Geisberg from Gramophone and Typewriter Limited Company recorded India's first music into the gramophone by Gohar Jan. She sang a khayal in Rag Jogya. She was paid Rs. 3,000, which was big money in those days. From 1902 to 1920, she recorded over 600 songs in more than 10 languages, mastering the technique of condensing elaborate classical music into three-minute capsules to fit into a recording. A true diva, Gohar Jan, was known for her fine taste and living a life of opulence. Gohar Jan's photographs appeared on picture postcards and on matchboxes made in Austria. Google Doodle celebrated her 145th birthday in 2018, calling her India's first recording star who emerged on the scene at the turn of the 20th century. In the evening of her life, she moved to Mysore under the patronage of Maharaja Krishna Rajawadi the 4th and died there as a state guest in January 1930. Gohar Jan invested herself in art, broke barriers, enjoyed the pride of her accomplishments and went on to carve the future of art in the Indian subcontinent being an inspiration to many. Namaskar. This is Deepa Joshi from Ragratans.